Okay guys, got a cool project uh, for the 2016 Ranger 900 today. I have a, actually I got two sets of rock lights. Um, these are from uh, JDM A-Star and uh, they sent me uh, two kits here. Um, each kit comes with four lights and you can see uh, that comes with the light itself. Um, you've got a little uh, rubber rubber gasket and it is curved so you can put it on like a roll bar. I guess that's what that would be for. Uh, it comes with uh, looks like stainless hardware uh, to mount these up. Um, these are in a steel housing. You can see there's looks like there's three LEDs in there, and uh, got another steel housing on the back. It's it's all in silicone there. These are a rock light, so they're designed to go um, underneath the vehicle, so they have to be waterproof. Um, it looks like they're. Uh, a pretty good design here. Uh, you get a small amount of uh, wire for these. Uh, these uh, are are blue. You can get them in uh, apparently white, red, amber, blue, and green. These are blue, obviously to match the, my my Ranger's blue. So that's what I went with. Uh, you've seen me install a kit like this. Uh, similar to this, only that was a color changing one. Um, but these are going to be cool anyway. Uh, I've got, like I said, I've got two kits. That makes eight of them. So this should uh, look pretty awesome on there. I've got an idea of where I want to uh, put all these. Um, so uh, what I had to do is I had to order a bunch of wire to be able to run these where I want. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I had to order some parts. Um, also, what I'm going to add to this kit is a uh, wireless controller. I found this at the local auto parts store. And uh, here's the switch. And you can control four different lights from this uh, switch here. And here's the deal. You got positive and negative. Um, poles on here it shows it shows on here um, one two three and four so you get the right uh, switch on here it comes with some velcro to velcro it on in in the engine bay or something I guess um, pretty simple you got a positive negative that uh, bolts to your your main power source and uh, I'm guessing that should probably go to the battery so you got, uh, if you're going to be running four different uh, accessories, you better run that to the battery. So, so my plan is to uh, run these. I'm, I might use two of them to run the rock lights to separate them. And then uh, I want to get another dome light for inside the Ranger that shines down on the uh, dash. And I want to get one of those so as I walk up to the Ranger at night, I have that key fob and I can turn the light on. And it will light up my day. I should have like turn on a dome light. Kind of like when you hit the keyless entry in your vehicles, the, the dome lights come on. Um, obviously, I don't have keyless entry. But I think uh, just having that wireless um, light to turn on, especially at night, is really hard to see in there at night. And then uh, if you do have a dome light in there that you got to turn on by hand, you still got to find that. It's usually up there and you got to search around in the dark for that. So I think that would be neat to uh, do that. And then I have, um, I'll have another one because it controls four. So I'll have another button to control something else that I want um, wirelessly. So this is what I've got. This is what's going on the Ranger today. Um, let's get to installing. Okay, so I got uh, 
My range are all opened up here. We're running wires everywhere. Uh, got my box in here. I put it in the, the same compartment that the computer and the little fuse panel um, is, is sitting on these uh, rangers. Uh, so it's right here. Uh, I run my power cables. I drill the hole, run my power cables out, connected to the battery here. Um, I haven't secured anything yet because, like I said, I'm in the process of wiring here. Um, I have got, um, I got my interior ones in. I got one over here and one over there. And, uh, actually I just, uh, double-sided taped these ones because there's really, there's a double piece of plastic here and there really is no room to run a screw or anything so I think that'll be fine on the interior I wouldn't probably recommend that for exterior um, but for the interior here I got I got a full cab with doors so it's not uh, gonna get much um, weather inside here so um, I'm actually gonna uh, hook these up separately so I'm going to be able to control the interior one separate from the exterior lights. And I've actually got this all hooked up. And I'm going to get my uh, controller here and we're going to turn them on. So I got my little key fob. And I've, I've hooked them up right now to the number one. Uh, I might change this around but uh, push the number one and the interior lights come on push it again and they go off um, that's pretty neat that's pretty cool uh, so I'm going to uh, start running my other ones now uh, the plan is to uh, have one light above each tire that's four more lights and then um, I'm going to put one down here to shine down on the ground on each side. So that'll be six lights. And then the two inside, uh, that's eight lights. So that's the plan. I'm going to get to it, running the wire everywhere. Um, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, so another tip here. I'm using these uh, rubber gaskets as uh, patterns to find out uh, where my hole needs to be to run the, the wires that come out the back of the back of the light and uh, right there is uh, the hole you need so um, it's easy to find the hole if you use this as a pattern Okay, so I've got my uh, lights all installed. I got one on the front fender on each side. I kind of wanted to move it uh, forward this way, but there's not much under there for plastic to uh, actually um, screw into. So that's kind of where I had to go with it. Uh, I've got one on the back above the rear tire. right there and it's uh, it's just uh, self tapping screw into the plastic there uh, should be fine um, and then uh, I've got one uh, I've got another one on the other side same place and then I've got one uh, kind of under the door here and I'll show you that okay so I got one down here 
um, under the floorboards. I kind of made a bracket and uh, to kind of, uh, you know, instead of just sticking it on the, the skid plate, there's a reason to call it a skid plate because you skid um, across that. So I didn't want to have the light up there, so I made that bracket that kind of brought it up. Plus it'll kind of, I'm hoping it'll kind of shoot the, the light out and uh, illuminate where you step out of the ranger, you know. So um, I'm hoping that works out. Again, just uh, self-tapping screws, um, this time into this, this cross member right here. I may um, change them out to uh, rivets at some point, something flatter. I know these kind of stick out and if I am skidding across something it might might rip that off or rip them off so okay so now that uh, I've got them mounted up where I think I want the lights time to uh, wire them up okay so I got all my lights wired up I've got them zip tied up uh, wire loom on them and uh, they, uh, I run out of wire loom up here. I got to get some more. But I run out of that uh, small stuff, so it kind of uh, still looks a little messy under here. But uh, I've got uh, this all wired up. Got my switch right here closed up. And uh, I've got them separated, like I said. I've got the interior ones separate from the exterior ones and uh, I've used uh, a used a wiring harness that uh, JDM sent me uh, with the rock lights so not all the power is going through this switch all this is doing is activating a relay and uh, it's getting the power directly from the battery. I don't really think that was necessary, but I thought um, for six, there's six outside LEDs, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to cause a, a problem with overloading one of the, uh, overloading this uh, switch here. I think it would have been okay, but uh, no relay for the interior lights. I just run it straight off that switch there. And like I said, they're LEDs, so they shouldn't be drawing that much power. Um, so now that I've got everything routed and kind of tied up and tidied up, um, let's see what she looks like, I guess. Okay, so let's see what she looks like. It's not going to probably be that impressive in the shop here because it's pretty bright. But there she is. Camera kind of doesn't know what to do with that blue. But I'll get some pictures guys and some better video um, when she's dark out today or tonight at some point. I got a button her all up. I got all the panels off her. So we will uh, we will button her up, and I will get some uh, video and pictures uh, at nighttime. 